Now you're talking about the perception of the people towards the MACC. And that is very important. We have to show the people that this is a, a, an independent uh, body that uh, shows no fear or favor in investigating corruption. And uh, it is not possible to charge everybody unless we can have uh, good evidence and witnesses. Uh, very often, the witnesses turn hostile. So that, that in, uh, it is a mix. It's very difficult to charge anybody. But the um, government, federal government, can do this. Can um, slowly increase the number of uh, the staff members. Right now, uh, we have asked for so about 5,000 at least, 5,000 at least of the staff members. Huh? The, the existing staff members is just over 2,000. Just over 2,000. So that means that the, um, every year the government, APA, must train, train these people because without training it is not, not useful to the MACC. You have to train them properly, and maybe each year you take in 200, 150 people for training. And some of them have special work to do, special tasks. And this would need uh, special training. So eventually we hope we can reach the target of say 5,000, 6,000 personnel. And, uh, uh, one important feature is that uh, no matter under which department is this MACC, it has to be shown that it is truly independent. In other words, whether the Prime Minister or any minister or anybody has uh, any interference on this, uh, the functions and duties of the MACC. So this one is very important. And uh, I hope that uh, the government will take it seriously and show the world, show Malaysia, uh, uh, show the society that uh, it does not interfere with the work of the MACC. And that is very important so that uh, we can uh, slowly in this country uh, control or get rid of corruption. Like MECC really stressed on the transparency of the but it is, it is important. Mm. Transparency is to show the people that, that it is really doing its work. Mm. And there's nothing to hide. Nothing to hide. The only thing we've got to be very careful, if we don't have enough evidence, we don't have witnesses, no matter what other people think, you cannot charge the person. Mm. Yeah. That is important. So, uh, transparency is important. The, uh, we have to be able to show to the public that no matter what the person does, what his or her background is, uh, if he or she commits an offence, corruption, he or she, with enough evidence, can be charged in court, irrespective of their position. That is uh, one thing that we have to show the people. Mm. But when you say that you, uh, under the co uh, committee, mm -hmm. you advise the Prime Minister based on the annual report, yeah, yeah. To, for the Prime Minister to take action in terms of...? Yes, sir, we ask uh, the, the Prime Minister to take action. For instance, we ask the Prime Minister to increase the allocation, mm. monetary allocation. That is important. Because you can't um, expect the MACC to work without adequate fund. At the moment, it is uh, very much underfunded. Mm -hmm. huh? So you have to give them money. But then, of course, you don't expect it to be given uh, such a big lump sum at one go. It has to be justified. Why do you need the money? Mm -hmm. 
Uh, how much money are you going to spend? So it has to be, MACC itself has got to show the government that it needs this much money and that's what the work it does. Uh, justify its value for money. Uh, so you got to increase the, the staff members, uh, slowly train staff members. It's got to increase the allocation, uh, showing that uh, it is value for money. It is truly using the money uh, for anti-corruption activities. For under this committee, like you will sit, um, go for a meeting with all the members and then come up with a conclusion together, is it? Yeah, this is what this is. For example, this one. Yeah. This is after we read this one. Then we ask the um, uh, uh, this uh, MSCC chairman to come and give the views on the various things here. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we ask the uh, the board and the corruption board mm -hmm. to give its views because it has already given a report. Mm -hmm. So from the report, we ask them to give its views. After that, uh, we, we come to a conclusion, sir. Recommendation is it is contained in this document. Mm -hmm. That's what we've done yeah. Yeah. every year. Yeah. Yes. For instance, here uh, we have even listed that uh, just for the uh, allocation for the I see AC is in Hong Kong. Huh? So every uh, citizen of Hong Kong contributes three uh, uh, ringgit 86 cents. Whereas in Malaysia for the MACC, one uh, citizen only contributes with 13 cents. Mm -hmm. But we cannot compare with Hong Kong. Hong Kong is what? 6 million people. Yeah, yeah. Huh? So this one is 28 million. So it's out of question. That cannot be compared. It cannot, it's not fair to compare like that. But nevertheless, um, the, the, the disparity is too big. Huh? So we have to increase the allocations. Uh, and, and I have, I have to repeat that like the MCC would have to show that uh, it is using the money got usefully. Uh, value for money. So in terms of in that matter, it's already been brought to the PM, so how it is, is it? It is the PM uh, that has agreed that uh, he would uh, try to improve on it. Mm. Try to improve on it, both in the staffing of the MACC and also in the allocation. Mm. Uh, but of course we have all already stressed that there is the need uh, for the world to see that it is not only transparent, but transparent in the sense that it is truly independent. Yeah. Yeah. So, but uh, I can see that uh, in this committee, it's like it is the members are from different. Yes. Yeah. It is not a question of whether you from which party, that party, as long as you contribute. Mm -hmm. Because uh, um, corruption is bad for society. And, and you have a different background, so you come up with a different view. But the view is to improve the situation. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't matter what background it is. If the intention is good, I think it is acceptable. And it is also a good thing to have various views. Mm -hmm. yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.